next. A new report shows an alarming increase in the number of criminals using and abusing prescription drugs to get high. What sort of new problems does this pose for law enforcement? We'll discuss this in just a couple of minutes. Keep it here. Well, an alarming new study out of ASU says prescription drug use is way up in Maricopa County. Arizona State University researchers found more inmates locked up in county jails are abusing legal painkillers. And that means more people on the outside are probably using too. Researchers say similar studies predicted the rise of the crack epidemic in the 80s and the meth boom of the 90s. For more on this and how law enforcement deals with this growing problem now joined this morning by Sergeant Bill Rogers from the Arizona Highway Patrol Association. And Bill, this is a situation we have seen the dire consequences of. I've covered news stories where high schoolers have OD'd on pa prescription painkillers. Uh, adults, teenagers, uh, or not just teenagers, but adults, uh, college age kids, everybody. It's a wide spectrum of people all being affected by this situation. Why is that? Why is this on a rise? when we've seen so many other studies that say drug use is on the decline? Uh, I think it's probably because of lack of accountability on a personal note and a, a certain tolerance of this type of crime. I think it's the avail availability of the drugs themselves, either through legal or illegal means. I think the rise of, extremely rise of lax, lax, lax t key children, they're home alone, that have uh, access to their parents' prescriptions. Um, I think it's also the society that has gone to a medical route to deal with problems, the current economic problems that we have that cause us so much stress. People get narcotics of their own and they abuse them. They think one more won't hurt. Talk about the problem within the jails. Um, you guys, there is testing done for things like Vicodin, things for prescription drugs, and we've seen those numbers go up. Exactly. Of course, we put people in the jail for, uh, for us, it would be DUI. And DUI is probably about 50%. We see a prescription drug alcohol combination. Mm. Um, the masking is what we call it, when someone pop, pops a couple pills and then they drink a couple beers. And of course, if we stop them, we may only see the alcohol effects and we arrest them for DUI under alcohol, when in fact they also have the narcotic drugs in them. And One half, 50% of the people you guys are busting. That, that sounds like a really high number. Is that? just started to go on the increase here recently, or is this something you've seen for a couple years now? I think it's a trend that's been going on for a couple years. Um, I think we're behind, because of manpower issues, we're behind the eight ball, if you will, by being able to recognize it and having our actual drug recognition experts out there to counteract it. Uh, another problem is that it's so hard to get, if we get a narcotic arrest for DUI, we do a blood test, and then when it goes to our crime lab, which un is undermanned, it mm -hmm. takes sometimes six, seven, eight months to get a blood results back, and so their conviction is way behind. And, and we've unfortunately heard a lot of uh, areas where, of course, there's just so much understanding with the budget problems here in the state and the county level and the city level that we're not being able to get move forward with some of these things. Talk about, um, I know that this is only second, prescription drug abuse is now only second to marijuana um, in the abuse when it comes to new inmates. And it's not just in, in the areas where, okay, we're used to crime in that area. It's all over. It is widespread throughout the county. Right. Now you touched a couple areas, manpower. We're 100 positions down right now, and those are going to stay vacant because of the budget. Uh, we just took approximately a 3% pay cut, uh, 13 furlough days. So you're taking more high patrolmen off the edge. Yeah. Um, as far as marijuana, everybody's yelling about the legalization of it. That's just going to compound the problem because marijuana has the same effects when you drive as alcohol. So you combine that. If, if you were to legalize marijuana, now you got marijuana, alcohol, and prescription drugs. Uh, it, that would only create a worse problem, and of course, marijuana is a stepping stone to further to narcotic use. Sure. And real quick, because we're running out of time here, mm -hmm. if somebody, I know you were saying this, is, this hits all ages, but for parents out there concerned about their kids getting behind the wheel with prescription drugs or mm -hmm. just using them, abusing them in general, mm -hmm. what's the number one thing they should look out for? What are some of the drugs that they should be worried about? And what are the ways um, to stop their kids from using it? Some of the ways to stop their kids from using it is keep your kids active. Um, idle hands is the work of the devil. I mean, that comes, that's biblical, and that's very true. Um, some of the other ways is simply be aware of what your kids are doing, who they're hanging out with, where they're going. Um, if you have to lock up, remember the old days when they used to lock up the alcohol? Lock up your drugs. Be aware, of, you know, be aware of your behavior patterns of your children. Watch for things like dropping grades in school. Great, great That's advice. Good. Locking it up, probably the be best advice out there. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. So I appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you much. So much. Thank you so much, Sergeant. Sergeant Thank you. Rogers with ADOT. Thank you for joining us.